This is your 3-minute radiation fallout forecast for Tuesday, May 1st, 2012, in Canada. Current radar from Environment Canada shows widespread rainfall from Saskatchewan through Sudbury, Ontario. There's also mild showers forecasted for Vancouver, Windsor, and Halifax. However, the areas of heaviest rain are from Calgary to Winnipeg, which correspond to the jet stream and tropospheric convection. This would be the area of highest concern. In the U.S., current radar on IntelliCast shows significant rainfall and severe storms in the northern half of the country. The NOAA HPC three-day forecast shows Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and later Pennsylvania and New York will have the most rain over the next 72 hours. As these areas correspond to other precipitating factors, they would be of highest concern for fallout. Some of the current storms popped up without warning, so please check in telecast to track these storms, which may spawn tornadoes. In Europe, Current radar from Meteo France shows unusual weather patterns are continuing with wind direction heading northwest, which will actually be good news in regards to the methane well releases, which will blow towards the Norwegian Sea. Current rainfall places fallout risk to Ireland, England, Germany, and northern Italy. Some of these storms will be strong and can be monitored at Meteo France. There was iodine-131 detected in Scotland over the past week. The United States has had almost 700 tornadoes reported so far this season. Severe storms may be in part due to radiation levels in our atmosphere. In 1953, 1958, and 1966, this was observed following huge hydrogen bomb explosions. Some researchers, including Dr. Albert Schweitzer, blamed these tests. Dr. Rosalie Bertel, who extensively studied our atomic age, speculated that when nuclear fallout lands or becomes inserted in the oceans, it releases heat. As surface temperatures in the oceans rise, storm development increases. Many of our Pacific coast storms are also generated out of the huge radiation slick between Japan and the U.S. Read more at nuclearcrimes.org. Additional resources used for these forecasts include California Regional Weather Server, University of Utah Troposphere Modeling, NOAA, El Dorado County Weather, and the Weather Channel Europe. Links to these monitors can be found at FukushimaFacts.com, where you may also find the fallout monitors in the U.S. and Europe, earthquake monitors, nuke plant maps, and sun and sky tools. Stay informed. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.